Hey, the basic dad here. Uh, it's been a while. I'm gonna do some powder coating today. Um, I'm in Katy, Texas, and the high school that my oldest son goes to, he's on the freshman team, but his varsity team is uh, um, playing in the uh, kind of upcoming fourth round of uh, the 6A um, state championship. So I'm going to um, take a stainless steel mug here and I'm going to powder coat it with the Katie Tiger logo and then put our last name on it. Um, all my boys will go to that school so it should work itself out. Um, so stick around. Okay, so we're getting ready to do the prep here. Um, I've got the oven turned on. We'll let it preheat. Um, I need to get it up to 400 degrees. If you haven't seen the video of the unboxing of using this electric smoker um, and how I put some insulation in it, I'll post the link, but go take a look at it. Shouldn't take very long to get it up to 400 degrees. It is kind of cold in Texas today, so that could add to it, um, but I can already feel the heat coming off of it. So let's get it heated. We'll start getting prepped and we'll get going. So while we wait for the oven to come up the temperature, I'm going to take my tumbler stand and I'm going to get it prepped. I'm going to move some things around. I'm going to take some foil here um, and I'm going to lay, uh, put this over um, the, the flat piece that the mug will, will lay in. I always try to take foil here, fold that over, make sure it's nice and snug. Um, I want it to be as perfectly round as I can get it, so I'll fold those corners over. As that gets folded over, I'm now going to take it and try to poke a hole through that just so I can put it through there. So I do it upside down uh, just to get, I know where the hole started. Um, and then I'll put this over it. It'll go down to the spacer. Uh, now I'll take the lug nut, put the lug nut, uh, or the bolt I should say, on there. That'll just help. Um, once I get that on there, that'll help get um the base stand that the cup will or the mug will go on to there so we'll just screw this on here and then you'll see me take the base stand that i'll put on the top and this will be what i'm putting on now if i could ever get my uh, dexterity what i'm putting on now is what the uh, tumbler or mug will set on top of um, I, I'll get that nice and tight on there so that doesn't move. I'm just trying to get the screw level with the top, make sure that's on. And then what I'll do is you can see here that sits right on there like that. If I were just to do it like that, that mug would uh, move around. So I'm going to take a piece of aluminum foil, put that over the top there, let that come down the side, and then that holds that in there nice and so snugly. And then I'll just... Um, turn it there so it'll come up um, and presses the uh, uh, mug flat so nothing could get in there. All right, hey, before you know we get started, let me give you a refresher of my setup here. So this is my box. I've got LED lights up there. Uh, I can hang stuff. I've got the wire run on the outside. You know, I can hang, hang everything up. It's a lot of wires, but I got my air compressor down there. I've got my Harbor Freight um, 120 volt um, setup with, with the foot pedal, the vacuum. I've got double filters going in there. The fan out the side. I couldn't make it out the back. I've got my tumbler stand there that I can do got all my powder coat stored under there and this is my powder coating oven and it's above 400 I hope you can see that there pretty well but uh, all right let's get started so what we're gonna do first before we start powder coating is we're gonna give this uh, cup mug um, a clean down I've got some acetone here 
can just get from Lowe's or Home Depot um, that I'll um, give a wipe down to the cup. I've got some um, um, blue shop towels, got another kind of shop towel, and I'll take a screwdriver to undo this. Uh, it depends. The, the blue kind of paper towels or shop towels that you can use don't leave any lint behind, but I'm going to use this um, lint rag here because I'm going to gas the cup in, in the oven for a few minutes before we go, so I'll just pour this on there. Um, I really want to give this a good wipe down, try to get all the fingerprints and the oil, um, you know, residual plastic or, or, or scrapes that are in. I'm really going to try to you know, wipe it down good. I've got my hands inside of the mug here to not put any more uh, fingerprints on it when I'm done. So I'll just continue to give this a wipe down here. Uh, really make, I mean, don't speed through this process. Make sure you really get this nice and clean. It'll just help not put any smudges. It'll help the powder coat um, stick as you get it in there. Now that I've got the uh, cup uh, wiped down, the tumbler wiped down, I'm going to take it on its stand. I'm going to put it in the, uh, the oven here. I'm probably going to leave it in there for about three to five minutes just to make sure I can burn everything else off, warm it up. It'll be ready to start powder coating. Here are the, uh, the powders that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a prismatic red. That's the hopper. You can see there, prismatic red. I'll uh, cure that at 400 degrees. I've got a prismatic powder, pearl white, 400 degrees at 12 minutes. Good idea to write these things down as you deal with a lot of paints. That's the hopper I'll use. Now I'm going to prepare the gun. I'm going to take the hopper because the base plate or base that I'll put down is the pearl white. So I'm just screwing that into the gun, making sure that's nice and snug in. Um, really kind of making sure and we're all set so we'll get going okay I've got the um, the mug the tumbler out of the oven all I was doing was just trying to um, burn off some of the lint I've got the gun here right now it's still about 176 so we're gonna let that cool off a little bit more um, once I turn on the, the fan and the air compressor kicks on, you won't be able to hear me anymore. So I don't even know if I'll talk to this or I'll talk over it, but we're getting ready to get started. Okay, we're going to get started. Just to remind you down here, I am going to use the foot pedal there. Um, that's what's going to activate or send the charge from um, the gun to the cup. What I'm doing now is, I don't know if you can see me in here, but I do have safety on. What I'm going to do now is because uh, I want the logo to be white, um, but I want the cup to be red. So I'm going to put the base coat on of the white. Give it a shot. Okay, that's coming out. So I'm going to put, I'm not going to do the whole cup in white. I'm going to do this side white and then the other side white. I just want to get that base layer down. But important thing that I just forgot to do is I'm going to take my ground and put that on there. That's going to help the powder stick. So the air compressor kicked on here. I'm holding this about maybe a half inch to an inch away, putting the base coat on. Um, really want to make sure I get a good cover so no metal signs through before the logo. I'm going to continue to do this side here. And then you'll see, um, I'll use the Lazy Susan on my tumbler stand, turn that around, and do the other side. I'm going to continue to make sure I get good coverage here, uh, and then I'm going to put it in the oven. So here I'm going to take uh, the, the white uh, uh, tumbler stand now. I'm going to put it in the oven. 
I'm going to put it in for about seven to eight minutes. It's about a 70% cure. I don't want it to cure all the way around because I'm going to put a logo over it. So I'm just checking the time so I know how long I have to leave it in there for. If you're going to put multiple um, colors um, on a tumbler, you're going to have to change, unless you have multiple guns, you're going to have to change out. So while that's curing for seven to eight minutes, I'm going to use this time to do some cleanup. I'm going to take the, the white um, pearl off because I'm going to switch to red. So I'm going to make sure that's sealed up nicely, keep moisture out. And then I'm going to take my air compressor. Uh, instead of using a vacuum here, I'm just going to use the air compressor. I'm going to blow off um, the, the little vacuum there, make sure there's no white or residual white left in, blow into the tube. Um, make sure you really get that um, nice. You'll see I'll take the gun and blow into uh, the gun I itself as well to make sure that uh, all that white gets out of there because I'm going to switch to red and I just don't want it to blend and potentially turn pink. So take your time, try to get all that powder out. Make sure you're wearing a respirator or a mask during this process as well. And there, um, I've got the red. I'm going to screw that on. And then we'll go check the cure time. You can see I really like that red. Uh, and we'll be good to go. The mug has uh, cured now for about seven or eight minutes. I've taken it out of the oven. I've let it cool down to uh, touch about 100 degrees. Uh, you can see here now I can touch it around and we're going to move it over and start putting the labels on. Now I'm going to take the uh, logos that I made out of my uh, Cricut Explore Air tube. It's a uh, it piece of uh, vinyl. It's not permanent. It can take the heat. I'm just I'm kind of lining it up here to see where I want to put it on. Um, I'm going to take the gloves off here because I don't want the adhesive tape to stick to my gloves. This is, apologize I didn't get it in the view there. There it comes. So I'm trying to uh, pull off there and have it all stick and you'll see one little piece didn't make it all, so you just kind of put it back and then just try to finagle the paper, <clears throat> you know, move it around to where you can get that piece off. Uh, again, um, it was giving me a tough time, so I pulled it out of the view of the, of the camera. So then when I get it, I put it back in view so you can see I got that off. Now I'm going to line this up on the mug and uh, put it on there. This really takes practice. I'm not perfect with this yet, making sure you get this lined up centered, symmetrical, you know, where you want it, um, you know, just a lot of patience and um, practice will get it. I'm trying to work the air bubbles out now to make sure that that vinyl will get a good stick. I'm going to turn it over now because I want to do um, the last name on the other side. The good news is here I've got uh, four boys that will eventually go through this high school, so this mug should uh, stand the, the test of time here. So. The, the last name put off really easy. Uh, again, no science to the way I'm putting this on. I'm just going to make sure that it gets on there. Work out the air bubbles again. And then the tricky part, pull the adhesive tape off without having the vinyl come off. And so I try to pull that back as closely as you can see. I'm almost just kind of rolling it back uh, so that, you know, that slides off. So this one's coming off really, really well vinyl got on there nicely. Now I just need to get that stuff out of the handle. Um, and then we're going to turn it over and do the same thing with the, with the main lo uh, logo. So pulling it back there again, I'm almost just kind of pulling it back at almost no angle just to make sure that that sticks on there. So it looks like we're good to go and we'll be ready to put the red on it. Cut back on its stand now. I'm getting ready to shoot it with this final cover. It's the red. Uh, so I'm making sure I put the ground on there. In a second, you're going to notice just I probably had the air compressor up too high, but the powder just shoots out this thing. Um, I mean, it's, it's really powdering up. I don't even know if you can, you can see that very well in there. I, I, I didn't stop to take the time to adjust it. I was getting pretty good coverage. I thought the extra powder may help stick in places where it gets hard, like in the handle. 
And I'm just trying to make sure I get a good even coat, taking a lazy Susan, moving it around. Really want to make sure I cover up all that white, no white shining through. I get it down at the edge too, so the, the rim gets coated in there. I'll continue to move this around. The handle, uh, where you get some of those turns, you get what's called the Faraday effect. And it's really hard to get an electric charge or static in there. So I'm spending a lot of time trying to throw a lot of extra powder um, into that one. But I'll go around one more time, making sure I got a good coat. You can see all that powder. I'm in my powder booth. That's okay. We'll get that cleaned up and we'll be ready to go. I'm now going to take the... Uh, the cup, the mug, and put it in the oven and just to let it flow. That's the process where the powder starts to melt and uh, it take about a minute and a half to two minutes and that's all I'm going to leave it in there. Now that's been in there about a minute and a half, a minute 45 seconds, I'm, it's starting to flow. I'm going to take it out, let it cool down and begin to uh, all the uh, vinyl off. Notice I do have uh, a heat protective uh, glove on so you don't burn yourself. I don't know if you could see the paint glistening. It's flowed out. Um, it started to cool down about 127 degrees. It's really um, comfortable enough to touch. You can use, I use these like dentist tools that you can use, or you could use the tool like the a blade that comes with the, the Cricut um, to pull off this vinyl. But I'm gonna use this uh, like dentist tool here. And so it's got a really fine point that you can get in without scraping. Uh, so I very carefully touch the top, of the top of the cup and start to pull that off. And you really start to see that white pop. And this pulls off pretty easy. You can really see um, the definition come through of the logo. Um, so I'm going to go back and get the, uh, the other piece here and, uh, and, and get that off. And then you, you'll see that that really came out nicely. And I can't wait to, to turn this cup over the other way and let you get a chance to look at that. I'm going to turn it over now the other side and start pulling off the letters. Once I get the letters pulled off, I'm going to put it back in the oven, let it come up. The temperature for prismatic powder is 400 degrees. Once it gets to that 400 degrees, uh, I'm going to let it go in the oven for 12 minutes and then, and then we'll pull it out. So get the vinyl off. I'm going to put it back in the oven, 400 degrees, 12 minutes, get a full cure. I'm going to wait till the part comes up. I, unfortunately, I lost the uh, video of that, but we'll let it go for 12 minutes. All right. We got about another six minutes for that mug to cure in the, um, in the uh, smoker or my powder coating oven. So I've done the cleanup. I'll show you that here shortly. But uh, all you can do now is just sit back and, I don't know, have a beverage while you wait. Um, the one thing you will notice here is, I don't know if you can see, just the powder that gets everywhere. So that's telling me two things. It's telling me it's probably time for me to change the filter um, that I have set up. And it's also telling me, maybe it's telling me three things that I'm not getting the best um, suction um, because it's pulling out the side so it's not pulling it back. And number three is um, it's really tough doing this in the garage in a, in a tight space. Um, I have the garage door open for ventilation. Certainly I wore a mask uh, for safety, um, not to breathe in those fumes, but let's, uh, let's 
Let's crack this IPA open. Cheers, and uh, we'll take a look and see what that's going to look like at the end. And one thing I don't know if I will mention um, as I'm doing the voice voiceover, but you may have noticed as I was powder coating and putting it in the oven, um, I didn't take the time to vacuum my tumbler stand. Um, I did that on purpose because um, sometimes you will do that. You'll get in a hurry or you're doing multiple cups and you will forget to clean off the powder coat on your tumble, uh, tumbler stand. And over time, that's going to build up onto your tumbler stand. Um, so I'm going to do a video to show you how to clean that and get it pretty much back to normal. Um, take all that powder coat off and uh, get it back to none. The reason that's important is it won't hold its ground um, so it'll get a good charge to make that powder coat stick. Um, but yeah, let's take a look uh, here. You can see where I've cleaned up. Let me make sure I give you, I've come in, I've kind of I've cleaned up, got all the paints away over here to the side got the gun I hang the gun up there so all we're doing now is videos airplane flying over above but uh, all we're doing now is just waiting for this to uh, go another few minutes Tumblers out, letting it cool down. Um, just trying to give you a view here now. You can see the uh, tumbler stand with all that powder coat sticking to it. Uh, the you know the the thing that moves the spacer up and down is really powder coated in there. The cup came out great. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But I just wanted to give you a view of you know that tumbler stand. Once it gets powder coat on it, uh, you, you have to clean it off. All right, we got it finished out. Uh, if you could see that there, that's the Katy Tiger logo. That's you know the boy's last name on that. Um, give you a look all around. Now, what I could do is I could put a seal coat on that, but I won't do that. Um, you do. I don't know if you could see that very well in there, but it's called the Faraday effect. And it's really hard to get a charge in the corners, but if I look at all the other corners other than that little one right there, but you know, I'll keep my keep my finger right there. It, uh, it came out really, really well, you know, for a Harbor Freight powder coat gun. Um, you know, if I were to go buy a mug now, it would certainly look a lot more professional um, than this came out. But if I were to go buy one of these, I would probably pay 45 bucks for one of these. The gun was 69 plus 20% off. So, um, you know, and it was a lot of fun to do. So, um, yeah, I'm super happy. Uh, we got a playoff game um, coming up. I'll drink my coffee out of that and, uh, and uh, cheer them on.